Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we're going to continue this question series of GATE 2022 chemistry paper. This is question 45, which was asked based on the topic of metal carbonyls from organometallic chemistry. So the question is the correct distribution of the products in the following reaction is. So this is a complex that is given and what we have to do is D. D means to remove. Okay, D means remove carbonylation. Carbonylation means carbonyl group, removal of CO ligand. Okay, that is what we have to do. So, before understanding this reaction, let us first try to understand why exactly this reaction was done. So, this was based on a uh, name react uh, type of reaction of organometallic compounds called as migratory insertion. Migratory insertion. Okay, the most common uh, migratory insertion reaction is let's say there is a metal and then there is a alkyl group okay metal and alkyl group what happens is there there are carbonyl there are carbonyl ligands okay either cis or trans to this complex this is a which complex this is a octahedral complex so what exactly happened was this what happens is we get a acetyl group like this okay and then there is a then there is a vacant site okay somewhere so the question was how this carbonyl gets inserted so what exactly has happened is if you just concentrate on this metal carbon bond what has happened is the carbonyl group okay the carbonyl ligand is inserted in between the metal carbon bond so the question was how does this mechanism takes place okay one of the thing was okay one of the proposed mechanism was that this is the metal carbon bond external co okay 13 this complex was reacted with 13 co ch3 Okay, this was a complex that was taken and it was reacted with 13 CO. The first proposed mechanism was that this 13 CO gets directly inserted in between this metal carbonyl bond. Okay, external ligand is getting inserted. Okay, so what we will get is everything will remain same only this will be 13 CO CH3. Okay, rest all things will remain same. This is what direct insertion of the direct insertion of external ligand okay we have added this uh, isotopically label 13 means isotope carbon is isotopic carbon we have taken okay, isotope of carbon this is isotopically labeled carbon monoxide okay from externally we have added and it gets directed okay this was one mechanism another proposed mechanism was within the molecule okay i'll change the color blue okay within the molecule Okay, now there are two carbonyls that are cis to each other. Okay, so this carbonyl migrates. Okay, another mechanism was intramolecular. Okay, intramolecular means within the molecule. This is let's say mechanism number two. Intramolecular CO migration, carbonyl migration. Which carbonyl? The one that is cis to methyl. Okay, only the ligands that are cis to. This is cis. This is also cis okay and these two are also carbonyls are cis to methyl okay this one is trans okay so the carbon is cis to methyl gets inserted and what we get is this acetyl group okay metal and this gets inserted intramolecular co migration okay and the third possibility is what can happen is the third thing is the methyl okay the methyl can migrate to the carbonyl like this okay i'll change the color let's say this one okay the methyl group migrates okay this mechanism okay the methyl groups migrates to methyl migrates to co again the product that we will get is the same like this okay the methyl group will migrate to the carbonyl that is the third mechanism so the question was one two or three which is the 
preferred mechanism that is what we have to find out so what was done was we already take a complex where uh, where the carbonyl is already inserted as you can see here this complex has been taken and then you heat it okay you heat it so what we are doing is we are basically removing carbonyl group and based on that we can come to know which mechanism was followed so let us take this complex let's say first what we can do is the first thing is we can remove this co okay the co 13 co we will remove and then instead of that this methyl group will migrate here okay what we are doing is first i will remove 13 co what i will get is manganese now here there will be a vacant site okay below the plane there is carbonyl above the plane carbonyl above the plane carbonyl and then carbonyl so this methyl migrates and gets inserted here so what we will get is mn carbonyl here the methyl has migrated okay, to the vacant site and here we have carbonyl and rest all things remain the same okay above the plane there is carbonyl above the plane carbonyl and here also there is carbonyl okay so this was one of the products and it was found that this was 25 percent okay why this 25 percent i'll tell you another observed mechanism was that instead of now we are not removing this 13 co what happens is again the methyl is migrating now if you compare this 13 co with this co this co is what this co is cis okay the angle should be less than 180 that will be cis okay so this is cis this co is also cis okay and this co exactly opposite to 13 co that is called as trans so what happens is this methyl can either migrate to this carbonyl what i will get okay what i will get this co will be removed first and then my methyl will migrate here okay i will get this product methyl below the plane here we have 13 co above the plane carbonyl above the plane carbonyl carbonyl and carbonyl okay so now there is another site where cis uh, the carbonyl is cis to this 13 co so methyl can my this cis co will be removed and this methyl axial methyl can migrate here as well right so we will get another product okay let's say this is b we have drawn the a me mechanism now b is the methyl will migrate here 13 co 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 carbonyl carbonyl so now if you observe okay here also 13 co is cis to methyl methyl is cis to 13 co here also methyl is cis to 13 co if you see the three dimensional uh, observation you can see they are adjacent to each other here also they are adjacent to each other so if you see the 3d model what happens is this is 25 percent this is 25 percent so both are what both are identical okay they are the same okay if you uh, what you can do is you can rotate this molecule slightly okay you can rotate this molecule slightly okay you can rotate this molecule one you will ex get this structure that i have drawn below how you can get that you rotate this molecule okay you rotate in the 3d space if you rotate this molecule structure one you will get the structure two okay so both are what identical so 25 plus 25 that is 50 percent okay 50 percent okay 50 percent product where the ch3 is this to 13 co okay this 25 percent was ch3 replacing ch3 replacing 13 co now there is another fourth product that is when trans co ch3 migrates to where the carbonyl tra trans to 13 co is present 
okay the last product will be where this will be removed and instead of that methyl will migrate here okay trans to 13 co what we will get this 13 co remains as it is at trans to this 13 co there will be methyl okay here above the plane there is carbonyl carbonyl below the plane carbonyl and here also carbonyl so this was 25 percent okay so you can see what is the uh, what is the question the question here is what are the products that are formed so these were the options that are given so which is going to be the correct answer so here you can see 50 percent is where okay i will zoom this okay, let me first highlight 50 percent where the methyl is this to 13 co okay this to 13 co they are adjacent to each other okay so the angle is less than 180 this is this to 13 co then 25 percent here you can see the methyl is trans to 13 co the last product okay this product that we have drawn and then what has happened this 25 percent is when the methyl has replaced 13 co 13 co is removed okay the isotopically labeled carbonyl is removed that is the first one that we had drawn here you can see here there was 13 co you can see this was removed and the methyl migrated here okay so 25 percent is this so this is going to be the correct answer so this is this question is asked many times in previous year questions in gate as well as csir net paper so either they tell you to draw the product or in one of the previous paper you can see they had asked the ratio okay ratio of the product it will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay that is 25 is to 50 is to 25 so that will be you divide all of them by 25 you will get the simplest ratio that will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 so in one of the papers previous year paper this was asked okay it is a repeated question okay before 2022 also same gate paper on gate exam only they, they had asked but instead of asking the uh, the structure of the products they had asked the ratio okay what ratio you get it is 1 is to 2 is to 1 so it is very very important uh, question or concept okay why this is done to understand the mechanism of the migratory insertion okay migratory insertion of carbonyl into metal alkyl mr bond okay so i hope you have understood the solution okay you can also try it once without looking you can try out what i have done so you can understand in a better manner so what is the correct answer the correct answer for this question is option c thank you